So all these people that live in the midst of these cars are not doing as well as if they lived in a paradise. And even if you live behind walls, like over there, you know, that's not going to save you because those walls don't keep out the exhaust fume, the acid, the carbon monoxide, and all the other pollutants that come out of a car, you know, some of which we don't even know. And the school, you know, here's a school embedded in the midst of all of these, this exhausting things. The only saving grace is that it's upwind of these cars, but it's not upwind of other cars. Other cars are upwind of it. In fact, the whole freeway is upwind of it, about a mile away. Yet another gas station. And you know, this is again prime property that can't be used for other things. If these cars could be fueled by solar, you wouldn't need a gas station. All of the fueling would be done by the roofs and you would probably not even be able to see it. What a place to sleep. Now, if you sleep in this hotel, motel, you're definitely going to be getting a lot of fumes coming into your room that you didn't even know you had. Once more, bus, bus patrons that are not regarded as customers, but as a nuisance. Now, onto the freeway at last. Now we get, after all that, we get to suffer on a freeway. So we're just cruising along in a near 65, you know, not in any big rush again. Uh, and um, cars are passing me. I'm not, not in the fast lane or anything. And we still have, you know, plenty of juice in there. For what we're doing, we started out about 65% full, and I guess we're still about 50 something. So, you know, they, we just fill up to what we have to fill up with, and then then just use that. The Butch Pash home in Placentia, you can just barely see the solar system up on top of the roof up there. It just forms a little tiny bit on, above the ridge line. You'd never know that this home is a solar home if you didn't know where to look. There's the cross-country team. I wonder if they know they're running in the midst of uh, acid. Now we're in we're in Villa Park, which is a little community in the, in the heart of Orange, inside Orange County, and it's sort of downwind of the entire uh, Los Angeles Air Basin. So all of the people that are in this high school are getting the debris from all the refineries and all the freeways and all the cars that comes down here, and you can sort of see that. On, the, on that big old mountain over there, you can sort of see the, the smog that's built up here. But there are the misty uh, smog shrouded hills of Orange County. And then here is this beautiful area of uh, verdant, beautiful homes. And here's an electric car. And this is a home you would never guess has solar power on it because the solar system is not visible from the street. Like many of the solar homes, they are doing uh, their public service and their volunteer service by helping the grid meet daytime peak need right now with their meter going backward but you'd never know it because this home too would be dying to have a uh, plug-in electric car because then they could put some of their miles on a plug-in electric car and not only would they save money but they would reduce their gasoline purchase